Hey everyone, so in the middle of this uh, server upgrade project that I'm doing, um, I'm actually changing the fans around on the coolers, uh, the Cooler Master Hyper H410s that I'm installing on the motherboard. Uh, so what I'm doing is I'm changing them over with some Noctua fans. The fans themselves have roughly the same amount of uh, airflow uh, strength and uh, how much air they push through, like meters uh, cubed per hour but the Noctua fans are about 20 to 30% quieter, uh, which is important because it's also in a room where we sleep. Uh, so I thought I was gonna show you a quick video of how to change the fans around on those coolers. So I'm gonna bring the camera down here and then I'm going to show you whilst I do it. I've done one of the fans already. Uh, you can see here we have the Noctua fan uh, and then here the Cooler Master fan and you can see the difference is is really huge. Uh, the Noctua fan pushes about the same amount of air as this one, uh, the Cooler Master one, but obviously is a lot uh, thinner in profile as well as being a lot quieter. Um, but also this helps in another way because it's not actually blocking uh, much air between here. So there's actually gonna be more airflow going through here in general by using these smaller fans. So I've already done one. I'm gonna do the second one now. Uh, and so you can see what it looks like. Most of these fans uh, in heat sinks come with these kind of modular uh, clips that you can just unclip from each side. So you can unclip it like this. And then you can take these brackets off and then you can screw in another fan to the brackets, which is what I've done on this one. Inside the Cooler Master fans, there are four rubber um, feet that basically allow it to be more padded so it doesn't make a noise. So you can just pull these off. You should be careful when you pull them off to not take away all of the, uh, um, all of the glue that's underneath. Uh, but um, since they are going to be pressure, uh, since these brackets are going to pull them towards the heat sink, you don't need to worry about it too much. So once you pull off the uh, rubber feet, you expose the screws and then you can take these and unscrew them out. So there's one of the brackets. There's a second one. So these fans are pretty decent. I mean, they have RGB if you're into that kind of thing, but I don't really want it in the server. So uh, I'm gonna keep these for another project another time. This is the replacement Noctua fan. In the box, these actually come with these um, like rubber um, attachments rather than screws. Uh, you can use these, but um, I'm actually using the screws because uh, these fans come with uh, um, like insulating pads for the noise anyway plus the Cooler Master uh, Hyper 412 actually does already come with some kind of um, dampening material so you don't need to worry about it too much. So then just line the bracket up with uh, whichever side you're going to be wanting the airflow. Just remember like that on the on most fans there is like an indicator which way the airflow is going so I want this to pull air towards the um, the the heatsink so uh what's going to happen is like it's going to go from this side to this side so i want the brackets on this side since that's where the heatsink will be so we've got one of the brackets on now i'm going to put the second one on just try to make sure when you screw in the screws uh, that it's really flush against the bracket so that way when you put on the uh, rubber insulating pads that it sits flush against the heatsink that way you're not going to get any weird noise or rattling from somewhere. You can use the Noctua screws also, or you can just use the ones that are already on the bracket. I'm using the ones that already come with the bracket um, because they fit. So, so there we have it. Um, I don't care how it looks because this is going to go basically be inside a server. I'm not going to see this. So I'm going to put these little feet on now, these little uh, rubber pads for the dampening, as long as it covers roughly around where the screw is. And there you go, like that. As you can see, I've got one here, uh, which is for CPU uh, two, I believe. Uh, and then this is CPU one. 
and then just clip one side in. And then pull the other one closer. So then just make sure the clips uh, sit around here so that they're on. I'm pulling against that, and it's not gonna go anywhere, so it's good. And then I'm just gonna plug it into the header on the board. So now I have just the two cables rather than the RGB cables as well. And these fans are, as I've mentioned, basically the airflow of these um, and the Nocturne ones are almost identical. The actual airflow of the um, Hyper 4 uh, H410s are a little higher, but these can run at uh, a much quieter um, based on the RPM. So I've replaced them purely for that fact. Um, the case will have some other fans in, so there'll be some other airflow um, in a four unit chassis, but I thought this might be an interesting video just to see how you can quickly use some Noctua fans to replace some stock fans if they're too noisy.